Cars and Coffee Winter Park for their uh, 7th anniversary show according to their uh, Facebook page. One of the few things that come out of 2020 is a C8 Corvette. I know some people will probably disagree with that, but they're starting to grow on me. Being a GM Corvette fan myself, I like them. Especially in this black color, it's pretty sick. Very nice wide body scat here. Wide body, uh, yeah, wide body scat pack. Not a Hellcat, it's a scat pack. But man, these come off, man. Take them off. <laughs> Don't be scared. There's a nice another Challenger here. Very sick. Next to this Mustang. But I also love the unusual, like this LTD station wagon. Straight out of the 70s. I love it. Road kill. Very sick. One of my favorite unusual cars out here. Too bad it doesn't have like the reverse facing seat. I'm not sure if these have that or not. But this is pretty awesome. I love these Chevy SS's and the Pontiac G8's. Too bad they didn't sell too well because people didn't know what they were. But hold them Commodores, but they're really sick. Love them. Very sweet. You got the Corvette Club out today. All generations of Corvette. From C3 to C8. We got a base C7 here. Here's some more of the. Has the Grand Sport stripe on it. Here on the fender. Very sick. Base C7, C4, and C5. Come here. Z06 and you got C3 over here from like early 80s. I would guess around 81. So I think that's when they, 81, 82 is when they did the two tone. Oh, the good old crossfire injection. What a headache, but that's what they came with. Nice third gen here with the C4 wheels on it. Very sweet. I'm carbureted, probably a 350 or 305. Here's another C5 Z06. Probably the best bank, one of the best buys you can probably get on the market right now, right here. Very nice. Into the KDM JDM section here. This is the first time they ever like split everything up by category in this for show. Sure. Last time I was here wasn't like this, but it's a nice NA Miata. Look like somebody's drift missile or something, but it looks either like a work in progress or that's what they wanted it to look like. Then we got a nice ND Miata, brand new. Fairly new me out, at least a couple years old. So I'm going to go on here. Mazda 3. Hyundai Genesis. With a Civic here, trying to back in. Got this 
very nice Subaru Impreza here. Very clean. Back cut out, back seat delete. Subaru STI. On S2000, got an Alpha here, got a four seat Alpha. This crazy purple paint on it, very huge. Here. Yeah, see the paint here? It's like I think of like Dupont Chrome Illusion paint. That's what this reminds me of. She has the tint of the orange and like a pink, purple, very, very trippy, but it's very unique. I don't think it's a rat. It doesn't look like a rat. But Alfa Romeo, of course, C. Pretty sweet. Here we are in the exotic section. You got a nice ACR Viper here from Tent World. Then we got a Toyota Supra right here. And then we got a nice GTR. Lotus Elise. You know they have the same motors like a Toyota Corolla. They're very agile, light cars. Another GTR, Lamborghini, Gallardo, and a, and a 720S McLaren. This thing usually shows up every Cars and Coffee, but I never get tired of seeing it. Very beautiful. Very nice G body Monte Carlo just showed up. Very clean. Vintage 911 here. Part next to this Ferrari 48, uh, yeah, 488. Then here to Eurus. Definitely one of the fastest SUVs on the market right now. Here's another Lamborghini. Another Porsche. Another Porsche. GTS. I don't imagine this is the GT3. Looks very, yeah, GT3 RS. Brand new Aston Martin.
Very classy but basic interior on his Aston Martin. And of course, everybody's favorite C8 Corvette mid engine. I like them. I haven't driven one yet, haven't rode one yet. But I've sat in one. It's a European section here, but it looks mostly German. BMW. I always like that color for some reason. Hard top convertible. The 924 Turbo. I thought it was a 944 at first. You don't see these a lot around here. But this is a pretty clean example of one. Even with kind of like the period correct fog lights and stuff. Looks really, really cool. A couple of new golfs here. Looks very sweet. Golf R. Like the wheel and paint package. Like another boxer, a couple of boxers here. Fairly new. Another Mercedes AMG. Oh man, look at this. Got an NSX over here. Loving this nasty old, probably a scat pack charger. Very Daytona. Oh, very sick. Very clean as a charger on myself. Very jealous. Got a nice Ford Falcon in the. Uh, Eurosex for some reason. Very clean. Okay, I mean 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 It's 240 Volvo. Looks like a little MG. A couple more BMWs. And a, Vol and a Volkswagen Golf. Another Lotus release. Another BMW M3. Every time I see these, it reminds me of like Deeper Speed Hot Pursuit. The, the silver one with the blue stripes kind of reminds me of that. Every time I see one, it's for some reason. Just a childhood coming out, I guess, but very nice cars. We got a cage in the back here. Take the back seat out. Sure, she's a track slayer. No far through out today.
looks like a nice Dodge Demon over here. Got a pretty much stock Nissan 300ZX over here. Looks like it's for sale as well. Got a Mazda 6. You don't see a lot of Mazda 6s, and especially in this body style, customized. But it, it, it yeah, looks act pretty good. Don't get me wrong, I miss. Oh, blacked out Z06. Mercedes AMG GTS by Turbo. Right hand drive Honda Odyssey JDM. Right hand drive and everything. Very eclectic stuff we see it here at the uh, Cars and Coffee Winter Park. Oh yeah, my favorite body style is Subaru. I always call it like the Colin McRae body style. But if this was like the blue with the gold, like stars on the side, perfect in my mind. Very nice. Lowered MR2 here. Don't see a lot of these first gen MR2s. Up here, we got a Charger, Mustang, Corvette, base C7. We got another Challenger here, very clean. The only thing you need to know about me, I love C10, especially 67 to 72. This looks to be about a 68 because if it was a 67, it wouldn't have the marker lights on the sides. Or unless they got a later truck and they would usually put a 67, 68 front grille on it. But it looks to be like a 68. Swapped over like a 5.3. I have a newer GM Silverado. Very clean truck. I prefer the fleet side over the step side. So this is a nicely done step side. Very clean. The wood bed in the back. Relocated the gas tank behind the seat to underneath the bed. Very well done truck here. Very well done put together. And it is for sale, huh? This would be a nice truck for somebody. I already have one, so <laughs> but mine's a fleet side GMC, but this is very, very nice truck. Can't say it enough. Very clean. Plus with the GM power, the newer, it's a little more reliable. You don't have to mess with the carburetor and stuff like that, but this would be a nice truck for somebody. Very nice Cadillac like Eldorado here, like straight up like a estate collection or something. Look at that. I don't know if you can see the wood dash in here. Very clean inside and out. I don't see many rust spots on it at all, hardly. So it leads me to believe it is from an estate collection. 85 Cadillac El Dorado. Very clean car. You don't see a lot of these on the road anymore. Very nice survivor. Or it could have been, I don't think it's a, eh. 
It looks original to me. I don't think it's restored. Very nice Honda. Here's a better shot of that Honda NSX from earlier. So it has a wide body kit on in front. Very well done. Hold the pasta balls, boys. It's a Maserati. Gran Turismo. Wouldn't. Nice to look at, wouldn't own one though. Probably the first model cars that may fall into like Australian muscle cars. Was these first? It was these uh, newer GTOs from 04 to 06, which these are actually old Monaros. But if it has a six liter, it's a 0506. If it's a LS1, it's a 04. On these cars, you really want the later years. You want the later, actually 06. Very clean example of a like a 02 SS Camaro. This was originally gonna be the last Camaro ever made before they came back in 2010, but very nice example of a SS from 2002. It's badass. Probably looks like a 72 Chevelle with a big 565 big block in it. Very cool. Newer Ford Taurus SHO EcoBoost. And a Type R Civic. Got some new Supers here. They're growing on me. You know they're not 100% Toyota, but they're, it's slightly growing on me. I still prefer the older ones. Very cool early 70s Pontiac Le Mans. Pretty much um, very similar to the GTO of the era. With a minor few changes like the headlights and the taillights and the grill, but a lot of similarities between this and the GTO of that same time period. You see more of the GTOs than you do the Le Mans. But it's very nice to see a Le Mans once in a while too. That to every car with the coffee has been around here. Every time I see it, I think of like somebody slamming on the brakes and then doing like an endo. <laughs> That's what it always appears to me. But the motor usually is under the bed though, so it's a pretty unique thing. Nice little JDM stuff you see here.